We are kicking off Severe Weather Awareness Week with Thunderstorm Safety. Each day this week will feature a different element of severe weather that could impact you while providing helpful information on how you can better prepare and be aware. The following information was prepared by the National Weather Service Atlanta Forecast Office. Thunderstorm formation occurs from three main ingredients, moisture, instability, and lift. Much of our moisture in north and central Georgia comes from the Gulf of Mexico or South Atlantic coast in the low to mid levels of the atmosphere. Instability is the ability for low-level warm air to accelerate upward while denser cold air replaces it downward. Lift is needed to trigger moist unstable air upward and begin thunderstorm development, which is commonly provided by cold and warm fronts or even gust fronts from other thunderstorms. The type of thunderstorm that develops depends on the strength and behavior of the wind shear in the environment. This is the change in wind speed and direction with height across levels in the atmosphere. Supercells and squall lines are the two main types of storms that typically become severe or have the most hazards associated with them, and will be described in more detail in the next several slides. So what is a severe thunderstorm? Well, we define it as a storm producing at least one inch diameter hail, which is quarter size, or having wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater. Severe thunderstorms are sometimes also capable of producing tornadoes. It is important to know that we do not issue warnings for lightning. However, we can issue a significant weather advisory for frequent lightning and also strong winds below severe limits. A squall line is basically an organized line of thunderstorms that can be driven by the downdraft of heavy rain and cool air, which pushes out ahead of the rain in the form of an outflow boundary or gust front. It is common to see a shelf cloud forming above the cold outflow, shown here in the top right picture, as warmer, moist air rises above and condenses. If you see this, then there's a good chance of experiencing damaging straight line winds, as this is the primary threat with squall lines. There's even greater potential for damaging winds along bowing segments of the line, shown in the bottom left. Hail and weak tornadoes are also possible with these systems. Supercell thunderstorms also commonly present severe threats. These are individual, long-lived, rotating storms that often produce large hail, tornadoes, and damaging straight-line wind. Tornado potential is greatest near the backside of the storm, identified as a hook echo on radar imagery, seen in the bottom left. As north and central Georgia frequently experiences severe thunderstorms, it is critical to be aware and prepare. One way to be aware is to understand the differences in our hazardous weather product definitions. A hazardous weather outlook is a product routinely issued that highlights the potential for various hazards during the next 24 hours and through the rest of the week. A watch is issued when conditions are becoming favorable for a weather event. Significant weather advisories are issued for strong thunderstorms that may strengthen to severe limits. A warning is issued if the weather event is imminent or occurring. A way to take action in preparing for thunderstorm safety is by following this ready, set, go concept for when outlooks, watches, or warnings are issued with a particular event. During the outlook stage, check your plan of action and make sure there is an area ready for you to take shelter in if needed. If a watch is issued, you should monitor weather conditions and stay tuned to information resources like TV or radio. When a warning is issued for your area, you should take shelter immediately. Such preparedness and action should result in more lives saved. So what are some helpful tips to stay safe if a thunderstorm is threatening your area? When dealing with the threat of thunderstorms, the best thing to remember is, when thunder roars, go indoors. You should get inside a substantial shelter, preferably in a low-lying location with as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Stay away from windows and avoid contact with any electrical or plumbing systems. If you can't make it inside, then a hardtop vehicle is the next best choice. As a rule of thumb, you should wait at least 30 minutes after the last thunder is heard or until the warning or advisory has expired before outdoor activities are resumed. If a hail threat exists, you would want to be inside a sturdy building away from any windows. 
A vehicle doesn't always protect you from hail, as golf ball size or larger can break windshields. If you are wanting to measure the hail and report the size to us, then please wait until the thunderstorm has passed before venturing out. If you are able to safely measure and report the hail size, then we want to hear from you. Please send us the largest stone size you can find, even if it is below the severe criteria of one inch. The chart shown includes objects matching particular hail sizes to aid in the estimation of stone size. Your reports could help in additional warnings or updates with providing information that could help save lives. Maintaining access to these example resources will help in heightening your awareness to Outlook, Watch, and Warning products. Be sure to always have at least two ways to receive our alerts. Our website is a great resource to monitor current conditions and receive forecast information in various forms. Some examples are pointed out here. If you have any questions or would like to send us reports, then feel free to contact us. We are available 24-7 by phone or online. Find us on Facebook and Twitter, too.